Welcome to Good Mythical More. You know, it's it's not every day you get to chill out with a celebrity. That's true. But man. sometimes you're presented with two and you have to choose one. Oh. That's what we're gonna do today Trouble. and see if the crew agrees with our desires. Mm. And if they don't, they're gonna have to explain themselves. Mm -hmm. But first, let's check our voicemail. Hey, what's up? Rhett and Link. So, uh, my toilet is clogged up with frogs. I hope you could give me some tips on how to clean it. Mm. Thank you. Bye. Call this number back. Okay. <laughs> Call this number okay. back. Okay. Toilet wonder... is clogged with frogs. I wonder how that happens. Well, at this point, it's a habitat, and I believe it is protected by your local ordinances. Oh, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to get a new bathroom. This is a new toilet situation. Yeah. My aunt Lynette told me that uh, she heard something clanging and she went in the bathroom and there was like a six foot eagle. <laughs> wingspan eagle mm. in her tub. Yeah, it was the old eagle, yeah. I would already told you this? It's a they call it the bathroom eagle. Uh, Only in America. It was a huge snake. A six uh, foot long snake. When did she tell you this story? Throughout life or like last week? Um, three weeks ago. Three, re very recent snake. Yeah. And six foot black snake? I think it was a black snake. It's like a rat snake. Yeah. Wait, snake. where was it hiding? In her bathtub. And it seems yes. like it would have come up through the piping, but actually they just found a hole like in the house, like somehow it came yeah. up. They can come in a house hole. Into the house hole. Ugh. And then got in the thing, and she called her neighbor, and um, the neighbor took care of it. <laughs> really? Yeah, all you gotta do is pick them up and take them out, but. Uh, especially a black snake, it's really easy just to capture one of those and... A six foot long snake in your bathtub is a violation of privacy. You did know, I, that that's an intrusion. Did I ever tell you one time um, oh my mom told me to go pick up the dog's leash that we had accidentally left in the middle of, of the yard? No. And I, so I was a kid, and I ran quickly because I didn't. I needed to grab it and get in the car. And when I got about six inches from grabbing it, I realized, no, that's a an eagle, really big <laughs> black snake. That is not the dog leash. Wow, was it a prank? No. <laughs> hey, Stephanie. Don't tell her. Go get the leash. That's the kind of thing that a southern dad would do to you, though. No, my mom. I said. Okay. Moms wouldn't do that. Moms are nice. That's true, but you getting bit by a black snake is ain't that big of a deal. What? That's why that's why I would choose to hang out with your celebrity mom, not your celebrity dad. Okay, your first matchup is an eagle versus a black snake. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go with eagle. I'd rather I'd rather hang with an eagle because I've hung with a snake before and it wasn't that cool. <laughs> it it I mean it reminds me of um the 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 James Gunn uh, John Cena show what what's his name uh, shoot Peacemaker Peacemaker yeah it, that is a hilarious show man did you ever watch I it? never ended up watching because he has a pet eagle named Eagly and it's and it's it's a literal just a it's an eagle like his relationship with his eagle is hilarious does it speak um, no it doesn't. Huh. It's it's <laughs> it's a real eagle. He kind of has it semi-trained. It's hard to train an eagle. I bet it is. They got a, they're really. Hard. I, I would choose to hang out with an eagle too, just because that is just freaking hilarious. And it the, the show the show just really grows on you, like the specificity of the humor. I, I applaud it. All right. Okay, but for real, LeBron James versus The Rock. Oh, who would I want to hang out with? Wow, this is. Hmm. I, I'm. They are both really intimidating people. You know, it's like you wanna you wanna chill with somebody to keep it in the chilly theme. That you that you you just think they're approachable. Like I think the Rock. I'm sure they're both nice guys, but like they're huge people. I think the Rock is. So I would say significantly more approachable than LeBron, just because yeah. he's like a. Such a multi hyphenate, you know. He's right. Like, oh, you see him on screen. You see him on, you know. He's he's doing vlogs and stuff. Like he seems happy and inspirational. But LeBron, a lot of times, he's so intense, you know. Even like when he's doing like post game press conferences and 
Like he's an intense dude. I think I would pick LeBron just because it feels like more of a like a special thing. Like I feel like if you if if, if, if like yeah. we might have the opportunity to like do something with the Rock and it would be awesome, but it it wouldn't be like this. He does a lot of media stuff. You know what I'm saying? Lebr LeBron is a little bit more. Yeah. He's busier with basketball. He's more focused on that. So you get to chill with LeBron James, and plus he's one of the greatest to ever do it. Right. That story. You could is, argue is, that he is. Is, is, is so like, yeah. You got. I, you got to choose LeBron. I think this is LeBron situation. We accept your invitation, LeBron. Mr. James. Yeah, well, the mythical crew chose The Rock by a very large margin. Y'all can have Well, listen, and again, if you think that it's a it's a better time than LeBron, okay, I, that would be hard, hard to argue with. But I'm saying that, like, the story, the story, it's all about, it's better to have a good story than a good time. That's what we say all the time. That's right. You know, you gotta have a good story. We're sticking to our guns here. You guys are on your own. Lady Gaga versus Ariana Grande. Uh shoot! What? Uh, th this is easy for me. I'm going. Lady Gaga. I'm Gaga all the way. I mean, I think that she would. She just feels like neither of them seem particularly grounded, but something about. I bet you they both are. Gaga, she, you know, and I, it might be the fact that we're influenced by this story that we know from our mutual friend, who was at a party one time. He was talking to. He was talking to this girl for a long time, and he's like, "What's your name?" And she was like. Stephanie or whatever her name was. This is a conversation we've had before. What what is her name though? Stephanie. Yeah. Oh, it is Stephanie. Stephanie. Yeah, and she like he was she was like oh. he was like what do you do? She was like oh I'm a you know I'm a singer and like just had a normal conversation with her. It was Lady Gaga, and he didn't. When know. was this? This is like maybe seven or eight years ago. She was already Lady so she Gaga. was really big and famous. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, and he was just got a guy that didn't care about he didn't he just didn't care right. about media, you know and. Um, she also was like, she can really play it down, you know, and not be Lady She's Gaga. She's closer in age to us. I think that's part of it. Like, when I look at Ariana Grande, like, I don't know how old she is. We could be she her, could be we could 14 be her dads. for all I know. Well, I think she's older than that. I know she is, but, like, I just keep re-watching her from that era. That's my favorite Ariana era. She's 29. You know? Good gracious. The she's Nickelodeon 29. era, or whatever network she was on. And how old is, like, Lady... Lady Gaga's 36. They're actually a lot closer in age. To me, I just feel like Lady Gaga would be a more interesting hang. And maybe by the end of the night, like, you'd be in a bathtub with a snake, too, also. You know, like, that kind of thing might happen. Like, not with her, just like, she's like, get in this bathtub with this snake. And my Aunt Lynette. Yeah, I just feel like weird stuff would happen. So we're, I'm going Gaga, you agree? Yep. Uh, yeah, it seems like a real no-brainer, right? Like, I just... I don't know, it's perplexing to me that 12 people voted for Ariana Grande, but yes, the ma the majority of people have voted for Lady Gaga. Okay. Thank you, I next. Just, I, don't, oh. I, don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. Uh, Harry Styles versus yes. Timothy Chalamet. Harry Styles. Like, I would, I'd love to hang out with Harry Styles. Yeah, this is, I, I completely agree. Um, Timothy Chalamet strikes me as clammy. <laughs> like to the touch? To the touch, yeah. Uh, Harry Styles is more velvety, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I want Harry to spit on me. <laughs> he, that didn't happen. I know. I know, I just want, it was a joke. Um, I want to dress up like Chris Pine. <laughs> Yeah, majority went for Harry Styles. Uh, you know what? I'm sure they would both be great, but Harry just seems like a really just genuine dude. I know? think I'm always going to choose the older person. Like, I think every single time, am I just going to choose the older person? Well, what, and what's the Is age difference here? What's Is the age difference here? He's two years older. Okay, so pretty close. But Which Michaela knew without looking it up. <laughs> so Harry's 28. Yeah, she was right too. Two, two, Good two old years Tim, ago. Clammy Tim is twenty six. All right. Okay. What about? Do, do y'all agree with us? Yeah, I said overwhelmingly. Oh. What about Harry Styles Harry or Styles? Tom Holland? That's a tough one. <laughs> I'm, still, I'm still going Zendaya. Harry because if you happen to be seen with Harry Styles while you're hanging out with him, 
like your your clout goes up so significantly in a way that it wouldn't as much with uh, yeah Tom Holland. Is that and that's really what that's what this is about. It's about it's about getting your clout to go up. I, I'll show you another way to get your clout to go up. Oh, get the yeah. Retin Link YouTube's collectible. Harry Styles ain't got one of these. Oh, well, he probably does. Or if he doesn't, it's because I guess he doesn't want one yet. Um, here it is up here. This is. Uh, <laughs> This this is us, dude. Hey, um, look at us. This is us doing our one leg up classic prom pose. You can put this thing anywhere you want to put it to increase your clout, but this is the last week that you can join Third Degree Monthly in order to get it, all right? Join Third Degree Monthly by next Monday, October 31st at mythicalsociety.com to get the Retin Link U2s collectible. Pretty Ooh, cool, huh? Nice. Very very high quality. And if you if you bring out the box that this box goes inside. This box goes inside of this box and then this comes out of it. And turn it around cuz look you can see oh, no, th turn this oh, around. Turn this around. This has the original pose. See there's us in high school that started the whole thing at mm -hmm. the you know, at the place. At the place. My ex-girlfriend's front yard. Yeah, he does have a U2s. Uh it's been out for quite some time it looks like. Oh, okay. Good for him. Paul Rudd versus Danny DeVito. All right. <laughs> um, I think Danny is over like every, everything. You know what I'm saying? Like I feel like at this point yeah. you'd be like, yeah, okay, whatever guys. Um, yeah. So it, it would be Paul fun. Rudd is, talk about approachable. I'd like to approach Paul Rudd. <laughs> Definitely choosing Paul Rudd. He was at VidCon that one year, wasn't he? Paul Rudd? I'm no, I that was uh, confusing him with that um, was uh, Hulk, the Hulk. Whoever plays the Hulk, Ruffalo, Mark no. Ruffalo. That was Ruffalo. Mark Ruffalo. Yeah. Yeah, Mark Ruffalo and Paul Rudd. I'm confusing. Totally different guy. Which yeah. I feel is acceptable. Um, well, I mean, my night with Danny DeVito, like that's a good story, but I just don't think mm -hmm. Danny's going to do all the things that you've come to know him and love love him for. Like, right. He's gonna just be a lot more like, dude. I'm old, and I really am just want ready to go to bed. Of course, I kinda, it's, of course it's so are we. Be, that's yeah. kind of our vibe. Yeah, and that's probably Paul Rudd's vibe. A little How bit. old is Rudd? Older than us, hopefully. Forty-six. No, Kim's fifty-three. Say 56. He's fifty-three. Dang. Wow, we got a good eight years left to still look like a normal person. Danny DeVito is 77, so I'm no longer picking the older person. I'm just picking the person well, that's who's the thing. closest it's, to my age. You guys age. did not show us uh, the, the most recent pictures of Danny DeVito. I mean, he has aged like a raisin over the past <laughs> I actually think he years. looks great. I think he looks super happy, but I'm just saying, he just, look, he just looks different. He now. looks the same exactly, except the color of the hairs on the side of his head. Yeah, that's true. Which have always just been on the side of his head. Yeah. I think there's probably some like, the comedy store vibe for Danny DeVito, where, you know what I'm saying? Like, a when little... you hang out with him and it's like, oh, we're making those kind of jokes still, and we're saying these <sighs> kind of things still. Oh, okay, all You right. don't want to well, be incriminated. That's a little presumptuous. Let's, we're gonna have to bring Danny in <laughs> and see if to see how politically correct he is. <laughs> no, 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 no. We're both Not hanging out with camera. the same people, though. Just, just behind the scenes. Just behind the know. scenes, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, this is very upsetting to me. <laughs> Taylor Swift versus Adele. Well, obviously, you're mad because the crew took Adele versus Taylor. Uh, Adele seems like so genuine. Uh, Here's the issue is like, they're both great. Like, why couldn't we have paired one of them with Ariana Grande? Can't we just choose both? <laughs> um, I I mean, I would, I don't know. I just, Taylor is an enigma to me. I think that's why I'd, I'd choose Taylor. Uh, because of that. And I, and I also feel like, you know, we, we, we've heard through people that have I actually met her to say that she's like really sweet and genuine. And uh, and also, I just, I mean, personally, I relate more to her music than I do Adele's music. I mean, I think Adele, okay. I think Adele's music is like more, Adele is more impressive as like a singer or whatever. Sure. But like, you know, I can roll in the deep for a little bit. 
but it's kind of like just really like impressive big music and like Taylor's like do you know she's kind of like exploring some things you know and I just feel like I, I relate more to her music than than Adele's music I'm not saying it's better I'm maybe just I'm I relate just, maybe to I'm more. just scared of her she's also like curated arguably the best like famous friend group consistently so other people would be there it's yeah. like I'm gonna hang out with Taylor Swift who else is gonna you be might there? see Probably that gonna be somebody that else model uh, Kara uh, I don't think she's friends with her anymore. What? That, she's not friends? What happened there? Well, you would know. I mean, maybe I'll find out when we hang out. Yeah, exactly. They're, so they're thir- she's 32 and Adele is 34, so you're going with the, I'm going with the, old, the older lady. I'm going with Adele. Tim Robinson versus Nathan Fielder. Those guys are strange. I'm going to hang out with Tim Robinson all day. I'm sorry. Like, I, I, actually, I bet you they can hang out with each other. I'll tell you that. I, I think that I, I think there are very different kinds of weird, first of all. Yes. So I think that Nathan Fielder, which I just, I really respect him. I like his new show. I like his old show. He does, he approaches things in a way that like, we really respect going back to like our early comedy days with like our local commercials and stuff. We saw him at the Magic Castle, but we didn't, we didn't talk to him. We maybe embarrassed ourselves in front of him. We should have talked to him, but um, I was too, you know, it was, I mean, what do you say? You like magic, huh? Um, and and who else was there? Uh, Ted Lasso and Olivia Wilde. It yeah. was all three of them. They were all it's like, yeah. who am I supposed to talk to? And it was and, and it was the close magic room. So there was like twelve people in there. And uh, and yeah. why just named five of them? Yeah. So yeah, we should have spoken to him that night. Tim Robinson. Tim Robinson. No doubt, man. Especially if he's bringing that dog. He's bringing that sketch sketch off the wall energy. It was a close one, but the crew went with Nathan, um, and apparently Taylor is very passionate and needs to say something about this. Okay, Taylor Swift. <laughs> that quickly, Taylor Swift. She shut up that quickly, right here. Um, I think that Nathan Fielder, uh, hands down, and I think it's twofold. I think it's one, Rhett, you said this earlier, better to have a good story than a good time. Okay. Which you'd absolutely not have a good time with Nathan Fielder, but you'd have a good story. (laughs) That's true. Secondly, he's the wizard of loneliness, and I feel like he just needs, like... You want to rescue him. Yeah, I kind of want to... You want to be his first friend. Help him out a little bit, yeah. Is that what you're saying? He doesn't have any friends. I can't imagine he does, no. All right, so this is a pity choice for he's, you. He's friends with that chocolate milk or whatever he's drinking there. <laughs> he doesn't even know how to hold the milk. No, he doesn't. Okay, all right, well. But that, but. Agree he, to disagree. He okay, how and to hold finally, that perhaps the most controversial debate yet, Emma Stone versus Emma Watson. Emma Stone. Emma, Emma Stone. I mean... Again, I, she just seems like a delightful person. I'm not saying that Emma Watson doesn't. I mean, Emma Stone has range. Emma Watson was in Harry Potter. I'm sure she's been in other things. I just don't know. Oh, I really don't know what she's doing now. I, I mean, I don't. I'm not going to say bad things about Emma Watson, like my good buddy. How here. could you? I, I but, you know, uh, I just did it for comedic effect, Emma. I know we're already. We've already set a date to hang out. I know that this it, is just my cover. What I hear about Emma Stone is that she is very much not about that Hollywood life. You know what I'm saying? She's that's refreshing. Uh, but she, aren't we? Huh? No, we're. I mean, we would like to be, but no one will let us. Be. But it, well, she's not going to get us there if she's not all about it. Well, I think we're beginning to accept the fact that no one wants us in that crowd, and so now we just need to start hanging out with people who are in it but don't want to be in it. That's our way in. And yeah, uh, and she like married like a. a Dude that worked on Epic Rap Battles of History. Like, she just married, like, a normal just dude. Really? She didn't marry some big... I mean, he's, like, a really great comedy director and writer and stuff, but he's just... He's not some, like... He's not, like, just some, like, pretty boy. He's just, like, a dude. Who is Emma uh, Watson married to? Bethany, what's your problem with this? (laughs) That was going to go a different direction. Um, I think Emma Watson absolutely hands down over Emma Stone. She is... Princess of the people for the people. What she is, is princess is of people. She is the princess of and for the people. She is down to earth. Everybody loves her. She has range, more range than Emma Stone. What have you seen Emma Stone do lately? I'm sorry. Uh, that Dalmatians movie. 
She was incredible. Her character wasn't really that. She was doing a British accent, and I believed it. Can you clarify? She is the princess of the people. The princess of the people. What do you mean? That is how I view her because she is so nice and she does so many things she's involved with charities she left books all around london <laughs> so people can read she's forgetful is what Bethany, you're saying you, you know on the little women set everybody became friends except for emma watson she was the odd one out something, i didn't read that and that also sounds there. incredibly biased i have to say i don't know what you're reading from but it sounds incorrect marnie is churning the rumor mill uh, well, so I said it was controversial because she's the one I totally anticipated this conversation, but also the crew exactly tied on their votes. Wow. Yeah, it is tough. I one. mean, Emma Watson is too approachable. <laughs> That's what I hear. <laughs> That's not what Matt Carney said. Okay. Emma Stone. Emma Stone, Emma Stone all day long. <laughs> the Dalmatians movie still sealed it for me. Yeah, that was it. Uh, up until then, I was on the fence. <laughs> to get our U2s collectible, join Third Degree Monthly by October 31st. Visit mythicalsociety.com for details.